morning. There's not a lot of people that look like me out here. Uh, it goes to show you the profundity of uh, this organization's ability to deceive a group of people. And my community has been deceived. And I decided a few years ago that it just wasn't going to happen on my watch. That history wasn't going to say they killed black babies and no black man said anything about it. I'm grateful that all of you are out here today. One other thing, I'm going to read this prayer, but you should never give a preacher a mic. <laughs> but um, I was doing some reading the other day in the book of Exodus, and I uh, was reading the Ten Commandments. And that uh, commandment that says, Thou shalt not kill, uh, because I'm, I like to pretend like I'm a little scholar. I did some research on that, Thou shalt not kill. And the actual word that says thou shalt not kill really says thou shalt not rend into pieces or to tear apart. I can't help but think that God knew exactly what he was saying when he said thou shalt not rend apart. I just got to believe that he had this day in mind. I'm going to read this passage of scripture and then we're going to pray. For you formed my inward parts. parts. You covered Cover me, me in my mother's, my mother's womb. womb. I will praise, praise you, for I am fearfully, fearfully and wonderfully, wonderfully made. made. My soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden from you. you. When I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth, your eyes saw my substance being yet formed. And in your book, they were all written. The days fashioned for me, when as yet there was none of them. My mom told me a few years ago, she says, you know, when your dad and I found out that I was pregnant, um, my first thought was to have an abortion. I don't know, I was like in my 40s when she told me this. She thought it was gonna break me up. By then, I had already had three children, five grandchildren, pastor of a church, working in this great movement, uh, a teacher in the school, all of this business. I thank God that my parents made a good decision. And so since I'm alive today, I'm trying to help others make that same decision. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, creator of all life, Lord and Savior Jesus says, I came that they might have life and more abundantly. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing out, for waking your people up and bringing so many out today to stand shoulder to shoulder, hand in hand, against the greatest atrocity that man has ever conceived in his heart, which is to kill those whom you said, such is the kingdom of heaven. Dear Lord, we're asking, Father, that you wake America up today. That you wake the church up today. The church has enjoyed way too much prosperity. Thank you, Lord. And we've forgotten what our mission was. Dear Lord, they're trying to defund Planned Parenthood. We ask that you make that happen. More importantly, dear Lord, we're asking that you let those women who are looking for health care seek another source. So that Planned Parenthood cannot survive. Amen. Another day. You can do that, Father. If you made the sun and flung it out into space, put the moon on the other side to reflect the sun. You made the earth and all mankind. You strengthened us, you built us up, and you made the universe. Surely you can do a small thing like clothes this wicked organization. Dear Lord, bless your people who stand strong, stand firm. Dear Lord, not only do black lives matter, but Asian lives matter, white lives matter, life matters, dear Lord. You gave us life, and so we ask, dear Lord, that today you preserve life by 
defunding and destroying the purveyors of death. Bless your people, dear Lord. Thank you, Lord. Strengthen us to know what our priority is. Dear Lord, the church is trying to get rich. Father, give us wisdom to know what